is uh, Friday, April 28th, 2023. Also known as Dip by Friday, baby. Um, trying to keep my voice monotone while I do these videos because my mic is pretty daggone good and it'd be very loud. Now, I noticed this morning, back, go backwards. Here's my disclaimer I am not a financial advisor. This is a guy in the internet who trades stocks. I am just merely chronicalizing my trade so I can look back at it down the line and find. Uh, hold on, y'all. And find a buying point right there. All right, let me get in right, right quick. Let it ride for a minute. Um, let's see. Hold on a second. Four seventy one. Four sixty-eight, four sixty-three, four sixty-four. Hold on a second. I want to get a few more. Is it gonna pop in or not? There we go. So we get twenty. So um, twenty shares. My first sell point is gonna be a dollar up. Let's sit there for now while I talk. Let me put it right there for now. I put it there because it's top of this wick. Let me explain to you what I'm looking at right quick. Let me uh draw my line so I can explain to you. When I woke up this morning, the stock was up 500%. So I knew it was going to be have a nice run rather. Let me go over here for quick. MEGL. What's my news? It's no news and it's up five hundred percent. Yesterday, um T O P S sorry, T O P. 91 bucks right now? Yesterday, top was down here. I'm explaining to you why I bought it. <coughs> financial. Magic Empire, the financial? I'm not sure. Yesterday, TOPS was down here like 6 bucks, something like that. And it just did nothing the whole day, pretty much. Went up 10 bucks to $16. Then, market closes. The thing just takes off to 260 And the funny part about it is. If you look here, China, the Chinese stock, right? We know by now Chinese stocks are known to run astronomical prices and then dump. So I was saying to someone last night that I think today it may be an offering on TOP. Otherwise, look at this last last bit last 20 days right it was 436 back here on 412 look at the last hundred day uh, one year it was 50 bucks 622 22 so as high as it's been in over a year all of a sudden this pops up to 280 out of nowhere there's no partnership there's no merger there's no buyout nothing this pops up like that for no reason now, I could have bought in, you know, one share of these and ran up 30 bucks, right? 15, 20, 30 bucks. Or I could have bought more shares of a smaller price stock, run it up one buck. So you can say the smart thing would have been buy something like this that has been running ridiculous for the last, what should we going to say, uh, 16 hours. 
back yesterday about five o'clock. This thing was at eighty six bucks. Went up to two sixty. Put all the way back to a low right here of sixty seven dollars almost. And now we're still running back up by the crossover again. It may run again. Yesterday I had the stock I bought like I wanna say four thousand shares. I sold it for like a I think a one dollar or maybe two dollar uh price gap. I didn't see two hundred dollars more than what I bought it at or it was two I bought it at, I think ten dollars, I think it was. Yeah. So two fifty more went up after I bought it. I didn't see that coming. <clears throat> Let's find a watch list right quick. <clears throat> Nobody, if anybody takes that coming, they're taking you a lie. That shouldn't have happened. Last night, before closing, look at this. This right here is 7.30 at night. In a half hour, from 94 bucks to 260. And it wasn't a horse. Why? Question is why? Let me go to my uh, watch list. Now, MEGL this morning was up 500%, and I saw it. So it's down 100%. I'll take that dollar to the right. Um, trading 4.19 million volume on 18 million share, um, 18 million market cap. And top right behind it, up 380 still. Uh, AGBA. LGHL. I'm looking for a retrace from here to 602. It may go even higher than that. SIEB DXF and it's around my price, which is fine. So it's consolidating right now for a large move to the upside. XF WLGS ILAG HUDR and last one as ATXG. Let me add this over here on my other account. S I E B G S E N D X F I L A G A T X G L G H A S O N
see you creating me on fire, brother. Let me say this right quick. <clears throat> the view app right here so it looks like view app is support I'm cool with that bounce off it make it smooth to the upside let me see what I'm trying to put on my screen right here H-E-B-A put it right here I don't like what it's doing right here. Let me see. It's pulling back a good little mount right here. Um, let me see. It's no news on that one. What's the float on uh? TOPS. Let me look up that. TOP, not TOPS. TOP has a 5 million share float. What's the float on MEGL? MEGL got a seven million share float. watching on my other computer doing some stuff we at 455 right now and climbing hills why is hills sitting there is that one my watch nope I gotta add another stock right there um, I add SIEB I saw oh. ladder right there. I saw ladder. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm watching the movement. I'm just looking. Make a reversal on AGBA. So, for my.
A P Y X N D. What is that? A P Y X N D R A. FDA approval. Is the NDRA? Seven thirty was low. Nine on one. Popped up at 7:30. What happened about 7:30? 7:46. Public offering, 8 o'clock. Yeah. APYX. APYX. Yes. You notice my uh, MEGL. This is my uh, VWAP. Just hovering around a VWAP with small little red indecisive candles. So these are called telling uh, topping tails or spinning tops. We're gonna call them. If you look here, you see they just spinning indecisive. All right, quite a few of them are indecisive. You had a few uh, bearish ones right here, but then these last few have been getting smaller and smaller. Then you got a little small little. Profit taking, of course. So 500% makes sense, right? Uh, look at the last 10 days. It did nothing. All of a sudden today, you go from 89 cents yesterday <laughs> to $6 a day. Similar to this top up here. So my situation is, I don't want to miss this this top move. It can happen right here all day, right? But this is a, you look at it here, 10 day, uh, oh yeah, 10 day, 30 minute, you'll see yeah, see it's it's kind of down here. Make it make it bigger a little bit. See how it's starting to reverse to that dark green color, meaning it's pulling back. Now it could be a fake out. You look back here. So far, it faked out before, and it popped right. But it came in and it made a real big bullish move on the small volume candle down here on the MACD. But as far as the RSI go, it was a very strong buyer or buyers coming in for that move. So all we need now is two large candles again. We can easily sit in that 10, 15 bucks off that. This line is still my resistance point. Even on the 10 day, 30 minute chart, it's still a resistance point. We got a lot of pullback happening right now. Nine o'clock what happens, usually Robin Hood traders come in, you know, and start taking profit or making trades. Now I guess there's a dollar at close almost with 92 cents, not close to a dollar. This morning, pre market, which was 4 30, we're going to say, 4 o'clock, it popped up. It was up to 4 35, but it climbed all afternoon last night. Right in my little blue line I got sitting here. See the spread getting larger and larger? It was between 450 to 460 a couple seconds ago. See the spread getting bigger? It's climbing. Uh, 20 day, 4 hour, 20 day, 4 hour, you see, we're getting, we're still bullish, we're climbing, which is okay with me. Next point, 602, right? Actually, next wall is 5 bucks. Let me look back at the last year, 
it's 470 right now. 75, 78, see it go? Three years. It was 250 way back here. On two eight eight twenty two. Hmm. Greeny green move right here. See this? Greeny green or a new high, right? I'm up here at my sell point for right now. I can easily move it, but I want it here for right now. Because I may be doing other things on my other computer and so on and so forth. And I may miss my sell point. I can be I can be okay and take it down to 50 cent. For me to be 510, 50 cent or 515. But I think personally, that's right here, this line right here. I think that's kind of way surpassed that line up to six dollar move. Maybe pre market. Let me go over here and look a second. As far as my 50 minute chart go, look at this. We have three spinning top candles. Indecisive, right? So all I need next is that large green of buyers to bust through that. One minute chart, we had a green to green move. Now here's the thing about this. You can make micro micro uh trades. Watch this. If you have a lot of money in your account, you can just pick out green and red all day. Let me go back or so way back here somewhere. Alright, here we are. So that didn't quite feel above this candle, so that's not a buy. Here we are. First green didn't pass, second green to green. You could have bought it right here. From 460 to 538. So somewhere between this. They go red, red. First green didn't pass it. Second green come in, bam. That's 459 up to 530. I'm sorry, 508 to 530. So, right? One, barely passed it. Two, bam. Bought in right here. Uh, 515 sold at 538. Right or less, get out. First green and pass the previous red. Perfect buy in right here above it. 458, and you could have sold at 568, which is dollar ten cent or less. Take your profit away. Go go go. This one didn't pass. Second one came in above the previous green. Bam, bought it right there. 462, popped out. Seven cents. So you can make a lot of small micro micro trades if you needed to. Only with a large account though. But not a lot of money in your account, wasting your time doing that. But if you got money to burn, like you know, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand bucks, you can do this all day. On a one minute chart. Right here even. Right? Right here even I did already. Right here. First green, make a new high, it popped past it, bam, buy in point right there. Could be in that uh 464 out at 476. If you're buying five, ten thousand shares at a time, you're making a killing, you know. Or do what I do a lot of times and focus on the five minute chart, right? I became impatient here and I bought in. I should have waited a little bit for the past that blue line. I didn't do that. I was impatient. You know why? I had FOMO because top yesterday did some stuff that nobody expected. I wake up this morning, this thing is already up 500%. It was like 7 something this morning, by here somewhere. Right? I was like, dang. So, something told me, get down there earlier, log in earlier, and then get in there earlier. So, I got in back here at 845. Usually, I wake till like, you know, 9 o'clock or so, which is right here. So, I'm basically at the same price almost. It would have been, but I bought it right here at the 9 o'clock candle. So almost same price exactly. But look here though. It's real thin on the red side. So what that means is it's about to be green. You already did it. So this green bullish candle gonna blow past this. Then we hit five. Then we hit five fifty. Then my sell target is I think it's six seventy. I'm sorry, five seventy or five eighty. Yeah, five seventy. So now we have the first green fifteen minute candle. So now all we gotta do is keep on climbing. Look at it. Look at it. 
was already a 503 already. First wall was 510, I said, right? A 5, 518. I'm sitting right there at 570. There we go. There go $8. There we go. Keep on going. Need large moves. There we go. Keep on going. 820. I'm up right now. Uh, 30 cent. 40 cent. There we go. Keep on going. We got 520 already. That quick. I'm going to leave my price, my sale price right there. See, I'm sitting right here. I'm still sitting there. It's a guy below me, right? At 569. So all I need is two or three more candles. So right here, this candle ends in in four minutes. So hopefully it ends green. And then we get another large green behind that. You can see these two candles here explode. All I need is a, lar a large green volume candle with a long wick. This move here, check this out. Let me go over here very quick and show you on the big screen. 15 minutes. So look, from here to here was a 100% move. $3.01 on one five minute candle. Now, door market, it would have halted it like a mug, right? So, I made a good point. I got in a good position, I guess. Uh, profit taking right now. It's going to happen. But the market opens, so before that, it's going to explode right into a halt. And I'm already in, just waiting for it. See it bang that point though? I drew earlier. So I'm going to say, watch this. Look right here though. We are in the first or second burgundy candle reversal of the five minute chart. We are still trading in the channel 40 or 70 of that uh, RSI. Now, if it pops 70, that's the bullish run. Look back here, you'll see when it pops 70 back here, it popped up to 602. And it popped here barely a little bit, it was still at 540 ish. Now, all we need now is this large green volume, which is perfect. We need the RSI to react to the to the, um, the movement on a five minute chart. So if we can just pop this and get this light, I'm sorry, light green candle coming in next right here, we're straight bullish and we got plenty of room to run. We hover around five bucks, there go five bucks there, they pop that quick. Five bucks is the wall now, but the real wall is actually 515. But the wall in your head is gonna be the five dollar mark because every dollar mark is the biggest resistance point or wall we're gonna say. We have around, the, look at, we got 10 cent spread. Sometimes, 3 cent, 4 cent, 5 cent spread. So during market hours, this will halt with no problem. We got 9.14, watch this. We got 18 seconds. This candle here need to be green. Next will come in, need to be large green. Let's see what happens right here. Eight seconds, let's watch. Here we go, 9.15, there we go. So we're getting, we getting larger and larger. That's what you need, right? Green to green move, larger and larger. Then they're gonna pull back right there. Profit taking. 
I'm gonna hold it for a minute. I'm, I trust it. <laughs> now, I could have sold it at 40 cents, right? Hold on a second. Let me move it right below this spike. I can always change it. You know by now, I always change my my sale orders. And almost every single time, I have to, have to move it again. So I move my sale order down to 539, which would be 70 cents from where I bought it at. I can always change it. 916. What else moving? What else moving? What else moving? What else moving? We got four and eleven percent. Not quite the high of day yet. It was five hundred percent, so we're not far off that. Top is failing a little bit. AGBA thirty and gapper one million shares traded on a. Here go question for you though. Check this out. Top financial, right? It's up 270%. It's trading only 417,000, we're going to say, shares, volume, right? But a 701 million market cap. Yet, it's up 300% almost. Beneath that, you have AGBA, 1.33 million uh, volume, with 100 million market cap, and we trading below top. So one may ask, how a stock move that much? This is almost three times, it's more than three times. Three times more volume, six times less market cap, yet it's moving nowhere near the amount as top is. Hmm. Now, MEGL makes sense, right? Almost 5 million shares being traded, volume, right? On the 18.8 million market cap, and it's up 400%. That makes sense because it's three times the amount of this, and it has, uh, we're going to say, four times less or almost five times less market cap. This makes sense. But this, my friend, the Chinese stock, of, which I hate trading, does not make any sense to me. If you look here, you're going to see why is this thing moving like that? Meme stock, that's what it is. It's a pump and dump. Meme stock. I was telling you yesterday. Look at It's a meme stock. Go ahead and say along with me. A pump and dump. We are at 9, 19, and 6 seconds. I'm still holding my stock, as you know. It made the little move right there. Popped that line, but I was way up here at 570. Even though I know this line here is resistance. I need this resistance to become support. As I'm hovering above it for hopefully a blow through, which should happen. One of these little indecisive candles. Get out my point onto the way. I want a dollar, right? But I'll take 70 cents. I say again, I want a dollar, but I'll take 70 cents. I just wanted to come out this market opening and halt and watch the thing pop seven. Hear me out. There's a strong possibility it can pop out of the market, right? Halt on volatility and hit seven dollars within the first two candles. It can happen. It may happen. You know what I'm doing? Waiting for it.
Meanwhile, I look up here at uh, TOPS. I was saying earlier how I could have bought one share right back here for the red to green move, which would have been about 78 bucks. Ran up all the way to 98 bucks for $20. One stock, $20 on, on my way. So the first red, or when I saw it coming in below, which would have been $8 less than what my high was, got out of it. So I could have made way too long. I could have made um, 10 bucks as opposed to 20 bucks if I waited too long. Maybe 12 bucks. So, yeah. Chinese stocks. I can't stand trading those, but that kind of movement right there. What are you supposed to do? All right, what we got right here? Let's see. Uh, TCJH. TCJH. Patience. Patience. So for the last week or two, I've been impatient. I'll be trading some stocks, right? And I see myself get my 20, 30 cent get out the way. Because my impatience. Now if I've been more patient, I can be holding a little longer. And, and every time I sell my stock within the first candle after that, or maybe two candles max, it runs up. My previous point, I predicted. And then it goes beyond that. I'm like, man, why I didn't wait those extra five or ten minutes? I don't like holding stocks for no hour. I mean, that's way too long. No, no. I like to get in out five, ten minutes, sometimes, hopefully, less than one minute. But the market we're in right now, everything is doing what it want to do. It's not very powerful. So you got to trade what you can. Uh, we moving again on this TOP, I see. But even though you see it's a meme stock, it's still moving that much. Because here it says, plain as day, meme stock, top financial group. Now, I'm not saying you can't trade a meme stock. I ain't saying you can't trade a uh, pump and dump, but you have to know when to get in and out of it. You have to be very, very careful with that. What are we doing right here? TCJH. It did nothing. Yeah, and just all of a sudden it's popped up right there. TPST. TPST. <sighs> Corporate traders going to be all on this stock, MEGL. When the market opens, because it's already up 400% or so, they're gonna throw their money into it with a 20 with a uh, seven million seven million share float and less than uh, 20 million market cap. A million shares in the stock gonna run it up past my point. You see here we had to we still saw that. So on the five minute side of things, we still 
bearish, right? I think I'm down right now a couple cents. Yeah. One minute chart, you'll see. We uh curved up at this point. Tapped it though. Didn't blow through it. I need to go through it and to pull back. We currently pull back for the last 15 candles almost. So profit taking. Over here, we're still spinning, right? We need it. We need it right here. A large green to pop, pop through that. A next large green pop through that and start climbing. They go a dump right there. What happened? Hard to borrow. What happened right there? Hella profit taken right there. Earnest reports was my company can outweigh room. We got uh, almost three min almost four minutes, three minutes, uh, 15 seconds left until uh, the market opens. Mm. Let me change this to uh, market day. 20 shares, 20 shares, 69 is my price. I'm going to uncheck this about 10 seconds or 30 seconds before the market opens. And watch it spike. In a way, they ain't gonna bottom mess up this stock when market opens. Uh, TPST. Alright, put it there. So market open, maybe about, I'm going to wait about 15, 20 seconds. And I'm going to go look at my uh, large account. Maybe, let me see. Might just stay here for a second. Turn the volume down on my other computer. So I can focus over here a little more. Yeah, consolidation is just, let me see. All right, watch this move right here. At the mark open, we got 50 seconds left. So we need to get this dollar at 20. I got an auto send check. I have my day checked, 33 seconds. Where are the guys at sitting? Where are you at? 490. 510 above me 540 ish all right all right right anybody up here nobody up here go down to here where you at i'm about to uncheck this right quick couldn't uncheck it didn't work there we go now it's uncheck escape escape There we go. Wouldn't uncheck it. What happened right there? Profit take? 
325%. Look at top. It went down eight twenty dollars that quick. I'm gonna hold off a minute for our sale. I think it's gonna re recover. Might be a dumb mistake what I'm doing right here, but we're gonna see. It's fighting, it's fighting those those bears. There we go, 420, 430. Keep going. There we go. Now we're going. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Very, very bullish. Very bullish. Keep pushing. There we go. Second candle. Keep pushing. Where we at? Uh, 469. Uh, I'm not watching. My head is turned. Let me see. I'm good right now. All right, let's look now. What are we doing? Oh, are we doing all this? Jesus. Down almost a dollar. Plus, an up a dollar, not down a dollar. What are we doing? TCJH. Why did it fail like that? That's my question. Okay, 
Ghost. I'm just watching now and confused on how I'm down a dollar on the stock that was that powerful this morning. Magic Empire Global. Question is now is is it an Asian stock? It's wild. And I don't even want to sell it yet. 